What's up, society? Today is the day that awesomeness happened. Decided to officially move in. Uh, I told you that, but now that it's done with, let me show you my crib. Here's the kitchen. It's mighty clean now. So nice to have a refrigerator and a freezer. Shit that I done forgot about. Get back to all my proper eating. I have cottage cheese and milk again. Beautiful. I even got a stove. Utensils. Beautiful. I'll do the dishes later. Organize some of this shit here. Own bathroom. My friend Jeff is on the phone, so I'll try not to bother him. This is my closet. This is where I keep all my extra stuff. Coats, dirty clothes, some blankets, shit like that. This is my room slash the, uh, the living room. It's the front door. Some of my stuff scattered here. All my clean clothes, bucket of my shit, La Guitarra, all the goodies. This chair that I just copped. We got smelly wax over here. We got a wholesome couch, which is also my bed, featuring Demon Monsoon. <laughs> Shoes. Yeah, I'm gonna show you this from the outside. There it is. Pretty lit. Socks up now. There we got the stairs. Now, bathroom number two. And that's Thomas's room. And that is Jeff's room. It's my humble abode. We stay in here for at minimum a month, but I think if I could get a uh, if everything goes well, I could stay here until it's time to go back. Maybe in the future, this could even be my home base later. That's kind of the idea. But now I've got the base of operations. So we'll see what goodness we can bring out of that. That's pretty much the highlight of what I did today, too. Just moving shit out of my car. Now I have space again for travelers. Don't gotta worry about someone breaking into my car and taking all my shit. So yeah, pretty eventful day. Maybe the most eventful in a while. Except yesterday, of course, but that's it, homies. Good night. I'll still probably be hitting up Planet Fitness in the mornings, but we'll see. We'll see how this new lifestyle, new routines take me. Peace. What's up? It's midday of January 4th. I have no idea what the last video I recorded was, so I'm just gonna pick it up from here. It's my first day waking up in my house, so to speak. The boys are at the gym right now. I still a little bit hurt from my fight, cannot do that. So I'm just cleaning up some stuff around here, jamming out, having a party. Today is day three, and day, it's day three of three of Fat Sam. I know you might not be able to tell, but I'm actually a little bit fat right now. Because uh, I, I am pretty strict about the things I eat, like, I eat healthy and nutritious foods, but I also love eating those, so it's not really like I'm, like, putting myself under strain, so to speak, but in my day-to-day -day life, I pass things that are useless nutrition, so to speak, like just pure sugar or unnecessary fat or, you know, something that I have no use for, so I just walk past it without a problem, but, you know, some days I'm like, those shits are good, so after street beefs, I take three days, well, this is not something like I do but I did this time. It took three days to just let let loose, give in to every temptation, and just let myself eat all the things I always think would be delicious, you know? So now I've given myself the leeway to enjoy things, and also I have plenty of time to uh, undo the damage, so to speak. And I'll be moving in no time.
and it has been so nice to indulge honestly like I'm getting tired of eating just pure sugar every time but there are some things that I've always like just wanted to go get and don't get and now I can finally eat those or I did eat those all that's left is uh, pizza tonight I really look forward to that after that it's back to the business back to eating like a someone who actually cares about their health Psh. Psh. Hosh posh. Hogwash. So, today I ate Cinestack pancakes and bacon from IHOP. At least two candy bars, maybe three. Uh, frozen yogurt with all sorts of candies on it and brownie. I also ate some proteins to make sure I'm getting at least some of the proper juice. Honestly, yeah, that's all I've eaten so far, but that's actually like most of my calories for the day, and it's all useless, just sugar, straight carbs. My body's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, trust me, trust me, I got you. I ain't ever going to leave you behind. Though some of this will have to go. We're going to get to work when the time is right. For now, I just got lots of free time until the boys get back to uh, just kind of do my thing, jam out, make some art run around jumping prancing like I would never do if people were around <laughs> it's the first time I've actually had like just open space I guess to just party in so I'm gonna let her rip and then later I'll get some nice pizza after I've eaten that I'll be like well that was it boys ripped the dingus biggest the dingus is on and then by my next fight, February 6th, I'll be bigger and stronger and leaner than I've ever been. Can't wait to show you. I can't wait to see for myself. Thomas has himself a fight with Sensation earlier than the next event. It's uh, January 16th, so I'll be looking forward to that. It'll be inside Neutral Corner as well, so... What a fucking G. We don't have a, a name for our group yet, me, Thomas, and Demon, but... We're going to do some, some nice stuff this year. And uh, I can't wait. I still can't wait for my fight video to come out. As it is at 3 o'clock, it has not dropped yet, but it's been about 21, 22 hours since a video came out. So I'm expecting it in at least maybe 3 to 5 days of now. But it was a damn good fight, so I hope it's up soon. Alright, I might actually record some guitar jams, because I don't want to lose anything great. But I'll see you later. What's up, yo? Just making a little recap vlog after the music I played yesterday. It's not the next day, but I just want to say uh, I ate a fat pizza. It was a cheese lover's pizza, which had five different kinds of cheeses with extra cheese. The thing basically had no sauce on it, but it tasted like macaroni. It was pretty solid. I enjoyed it. <laughs> then Jeff made us dinner, ground chicken with barbecue. That's pretty solid. I did some uh, work writing with my left hand. I'm getting very, very good at it. It might be as neat as my right hand. It's not nearly as fast or comfortable, but it's, it's solid. It's amazing what you can do in 30 days. And that's it, yo. Not too much happened yesterday. Just getting settled into my home. Still resting up, but I'm pretty much done resting for my fight, so ready to get back to work. I'm making this log in the morning. Just saying what I might do today for the 5th of January. So I am now officially done being fat, so I'm working on losing the weight and being awesome. So I'm having a 12 hour fast every day that includes my sleep time. So I stopped eating around 8, 8 o'clock last night. So I'll, I'm actually going to push it farther than that though. Around 11 or 12, I'm going to go to the gym, and then I'll be back. That'll be a solid fast, and I'll be ready to just consume a bunch of shit, and most of the day will be done. That's a, a system I found that really works. It's just fast for most of the morning and afternoon. Work out on an empty stomach. Shit gets you lean. So that's what I'm going to go back to doing. Also, I might get my hair cut today. I am waiting, just dying waiting. For that video to drop. I don't want to go anywhere in public until that video is out. 
Because I'm going to check up on my friends at Five Star Nutrition, tell them about the fight. And, uh, and at Planet Fitness, everyone's going to want to talk about the fight. Like the desk people who know me. So I'll definitely try to do that if I can. I don't think I'll go to the gym today either, meaning a uh, neutral corner. My leg is not quite perfect, but it's it's almost completely better. So I think tomorrow I will head back to the gym. But today it's going to be a weightlifting workout. I'm going to give it the animal. Maybe even scoop some maniac. For now I'm just going to do some writing, listen to music. A nice calm morning jig. Alright. What's up, yo? Just making a recap for yesterday. Pretty sure I talked to you guys in the morning last. But uh, yesterday I went to Planet Fitness. That was for my workout because my ankle was actually still pretty messed up from the fight. Can't do a lot of movements on it. Can't put a lot of weight on the, the ankle joint itself. But got some good work in that Planet Fitness. I hope to be back at Neutral Corner soon. It's uh, early in the morning. That's why I'm still quiet right now. Also got my laundry and got some ten dollar protein from Ollie's. I mean this for ten bucks. That's a steal. Been doing good on the cut. <laughs> Getting started on my healthiness again after my three days of fatness. I even cooked my first meal since before December 4th, which is when I got here. It was really nice. I cooked the, the sandwich that I always make back at home. It's, it's a sandwich, so it's toast, peanut butter, sharp cheddar cheese, bacon, and eggs. Two eggs that are as runny as possible. So when you put the bread together, it's like... I love it, man. It's so good. I look forward to eating it maybe later today. As a part of my fast, I like to have a 12-hour fast <laughs> in every day. So, uh, basically just remember the time you stopped eating at night. Last night was 6.30 that I stopped eating. So then I have to wait till at least 6.30 the next day. You know? That's a good way to get your body consuming itself. And I use tricks like matcha and hot sauce to speed up my metabolism when I'm fasting as well. So it's already been 12 hours and I could eat, but I might continue and uh, go to the gym empty stomached. That's a good way to get really cooking. But alas, I'm overlapping. So yesterday was a pretty chill day. And uh, tomorrow, Friday, so now two days after this log is supposed to come out. I'm going to go to Five Star Nutrition. I stopped by there again today. And uh, I told people that my fight was out. There was just one of the girls there. And normally there's a bunch of people. Who I talk to most of my boy Tony. So she said, come back at Friday, on Friday, around noon. And everyone can watch the fight together. All the Five Star Nutrition homies in Winchester. And we're even going to watch it on the TV. I haven't gotten to see it on the TV yet myself. So that sounds awesome. It was a nice, chill day. Just waiting on my ankle to get better before I get back to cracking. Gonna try to use my hands some more. Alright, peace. Well, today turned out to be an interesting day. Definitely worth logging. So, I, w I went to Planet Fitness, got a nice hard workout on. And uh, But really, most of the event today has stemmed around this random kind of thing that's happened to us. Better shown than told. Look at this little thing. Little rat. My boy Thomas just kind of came home. He said, well, here, I got us a dog. You know, I'm still a little hesitant to it because it's a lot to take on and I'm having to clean up most of it, but you know what? This thing is really cute and it's learning. So I'm a fan of the dog, you don't get me wrong. It's just, it just seems like a weird time to get a dog, you know? And we're already having rent problems. I guess this dog doesn't really like it when I talk negative about it or about his chances of staying here, so maybe I'll stop. It was an interesting uh, addition to things, interesting twist. 
makes me have to learn some responsibility. some food. I don't really know anything about taking care of a dog. Yeah, I'm gonna be here with the dog alone for a long while, you know? Like, when's the right time to feed it? How much should it eat? I don't know. I feel like someone should know this. It just seems like for the dog's sake, you know, at the very least, maybe we wouldn't be taking care of it right now, but... Well, here it is, so... <laughs> We haven't come up with a name for it yet. It's only been a few hours that we've had this puppy. It's very cute. Still working on potty training, but I think we'll get there. Got anything to say to the vlog? My YouTube will see this in like three months. <laughs> nah, I just feel like being a crackhead some more. My dog, this dog, my dog doesn't really like technology. <sighs> Well, yeah, that's been most of the day. Just uh, chilling, eating good food, living life, you know, waiting on my ankle to get better. Once my ankle is better, we're gonna be uh, back in the corner, grinding like hell. The next fight is January 30th. So I'll be training hard for that. That's pretty much it for the night. Just working with this crackhead here. All right, everybody, good night.